In this video, I am going to be installing MX Linux in a virtual machine. And the version of MX Linux is 23.3 and the desktop environment will be KDE. So I already downloaded the ISO file. I'm going to select the first option. So this is the welcome page and there's some more information here. I'm going to click on about. And here it tells you the MX version, which is 23.3. This is the desktop version, KDE Plasma version 5.27.5. This is the Debian version. So I'm going to click on install MX Linux. So this is the installer page. This is terms of use. So I'll click on change keyboard settings. There's layouts, hotkeys, and advanced. I'm going to leave it as default. I'll click OK. I'll click Next. So here's where you have to select the type of installation. There's regular install using the entire disk and there's a customized disk layout. So this is the size of the disk in the virtual machine. I'm using 50 gigs. So if I want to adjust this, I can just adjust it just by sliding it with the mouse. So there are two options here, encrypt or enable Hibernate support. I'm going to leave both unchecked. I'll click next. This is the installation confirmation that gives you a warning. It's going to format the entire drive and everything in the drive will be lost and wiped out. I'm going to select format and use the entire disk. I'll click start. So this is the computer network names. You can input a name here. I'm going to leave it as is. And this checkbox says Samba Server for MS Networking. And you can read about it here. So on Workgroup, I'm going to leave it as default. I'll click Next. So this is a localization default. United States, American English. So here you configure your clock settings. The time zone is correct here. And I'm going to check this box. System clock uses local time. And the format, I'm going to leave it as the default. This is the service settings. Advanced, I'll click on view. So here there are two columns, service and description. And they are listed by categories, hardware, admin, networking, and printing. So you could uncheck or check any one of these. I'll click OK. I'll click Next. So here I have to type in a username and password. I'm going to check this box for the root administrator account. I'm going to enable that. I'm going to type a root password. So there are two options here, auto login and save live desktop changes. I'm going to leave both unchecked. I'll click next. So installation is complete. I'm going to click finish. So this is the lock-in screen. There's a virtual keyboard and this is the desktop session. Right now the default is Plasma X11 and there's also an option for WLAN. I'm going to leave it as Plasma X11. I'm going to close this. So this is the applications launcher. So this is development. This is games. This is graphics. This is internet. This is multimedia. This is MX tools. This is office. This is science and math. This is settings. This is system. This is utilities. So I'm going to select the package installer. So this is the package installer. This tab is popular applications and they are listed by category. There's audio. There's browser. There's desktop environments. There's docs. There's kernels. There's network. There's utility. So there's enabled repos. This is test repo. This is Debian backports. Flat packs.
So there's an option to upgrade all and remove unused runtimes. I'll click on advance. I'm going to install Spotify. I'll install Google Chrome. I'll click install. Okay, so all the packages were downloaded. So I'm going to open the county manager. So there's widgets, there's themes. So these are lists of the widgets. So right now, this is the only widget here. I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to check this widget. This is how it looks. I'll check this one. I'll check this. So there's a lot of options you can select. So this is Teams. So there's a play button here. There's a stop button. And these are for the widgets. This is the Teams. There's only one listed here. So this tab is to edit the widget. And this is to generate preview images. This is to stop all running widgets. This is the application settings. So this is the MX Cleanup app. And here you can select the user and you can free this space for users. So if you have more than one user here, you just have to select the user and you can configure to clean folders, clear cache, clean flat pack, delete logs, empty trash. So there's also a schedule and there's removal tool, remove and use, Wi-Fi driver, list and select kernels to remove graphical tool for analyzing this usage and run this usage analyzer. I'll click on that. And here I can scan folder, scan home folder, scan root folder. I'll click on user manager. So this is the user manager app and I can add users here. I can also grant the user administrative rights to the system and I can also delete a user here and also delete the user home directory. I can also rename the user account. This is options Can modify the user account. This is copy and sync and copy between desktops. This is add and remove groups, and I can create a user level group. This is to select a group to delete. This is group membership. And this is the groups the user belongs to, and this can be changed. I'll click on system monitor. I can edit this page. So this is tools and there's a drop down tab here. This is overview. This is applications. This is history. This is processes. I can add a new page. So I'll open the MX snapshot. So snapshot is a utility that creates a bootable ISO. So it already created a name by default. So this section here is the optional customization. So GIMP is installed. So I'll open the live USB maker and you can create a portable USB drive here. This is the options, this is the mode. This is advanced options. This is the KWrite app. I'll open the boot options app. So here it says boot to and there's a drop down tab and these are the options. 
This is kernel parameters. This is image. This is background. This team is enabled here. This is splash. And right now the default is MX live logo. There's a drop down tab and you can choose any one of these. This is messages and you can select very detailed or detailed. So I'm going to open the pulse audio volume control. So these are the tabs, playback, recording, output devices, input devices, and configuration. So this is about the system. This is the software, KDE Plasma version. 5.27, the kernel version is 6.1, the graphics platform is X11. So I'll open the boot repair app. So this boot repair is a utility can be used to reinstall the Grub bootloader. And it gives you further explanation here. So these are the options. You can reinstall the Grub bootloader, repair the Grub configuration file or backup MBR or PBR, restore MBR or PBR from backup. So I'll right click the desktop and I can select add widgets here. These are the widgets. I can add panel and there's application, menu bar, default panel or empty panel. I'll select default panel and it's here. I'll right click the desktop. I'll select configure desktop and wallpaper. So these are some of the default wallpapers. I'll select this wallpaper. I can also get new wallpapers from online and I can choose from categories. So on the lower left side, this is system settings. This is the Dolphin file manager. I'll right click the desktop so I can create a new folder, text file, empty file, HTML file. I'll create a new folder. I'll right click the folder. I can compress this folder. I'll click on properties and I can configure permissions for this folder. So in this video, I install MX Linux 23.3 and this is with the KDE desktop environment. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.